day 121. Well, technically, you might have missed a few days, but you didn't miss an episode. I think I can use this. Uh, it actually took me a good day or two to sort through the supplies and the furs and everything that I had uh, acquired at Hutch Treasure Valley. But as you can tell, I'm inside a work trailer. I'm in the trailer back at Mountain Town nearest Too the heavy. entrance because if you take a look, I've got a lot of furs, I've got a lot of limbs, I've got materials here that I wanted to spend a little time sheltered and uh, kind of crafting them up. By my rough count, I spent about 30 days in the wild of Hush River Valley. And I'm glad I did. I'm not going to complain about that. But now that I'm back in civilization, I want to do a little bit. <laughs> and I couldn't have gotten that shot better if I had tried. <laughs> Perfectly standing up. Awesome. Okay. From the bear skin, this is my top priority. I want to repair my bedroll. It's already in the gold. I'm hoping I can do it in one. If I can do it in one... Uh, I was hoping that the torch would last until dawn. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, if that's the biggest mistake I make, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. This is a situation that I really wish they would uh, let us uh, make fires indoors. But that's not an option, so we'll work with what we can. What can I do in the dark? Because I'd like to be productive. You know, I'm awake, I'm in decent health. I can make tea. That's what I can do. I can process sh shrooms. Okay, still got some more shrooms. I processed a fair bit of this before I left out, but I didn't process it all, I guess. But Hush River Valley definitely increased my appreciation for rosehip and mushrooms. So, um, okay, so none of those left. Oh, I can almost always use some uh, bandages, I think. You know, as long as there's wolves, you'll need bandages. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to go too crazy in the dark. Let's see if I can take a little bit of a sleep, catch up on some of that. You know, I'm I'm in this... 69 degrees, wow. I'm in this uh, zone of time that I'm rested. But it's not daylight yet, so I can't be super productive. But I don't just want to skip time, so I'm trying to just continue to be productive. What's it look like outside? What's the weatherman going to give me today? Are we pretty close? If I work outside, is that an option? For some things, maybe, but I don't. I, I need the workbench. Uh, I'm trying to game like a thinker here. And it is not that bright out here either. Okay. Oh, uh, do I want to start a fire? Give me a minute to kind of think through here. Uh, I'll do the grind, you skip the time, be back with you in a minute. Okay, I finally bit the bullet and passed time a little bit, and I think we're getting to literally like, have to sun up gear. as I work through this. The sun will rise, and I think we're at a point now where, yeah, you know, the sun's coming up here, so we're going to be able to start doing some work on this. I'm trying to think here. Do I want to do the bedroll repair, or do I want to actually go for the big one of making the wolf skin coat? And my thinking is, I literally have another bear skin. I have three skins right now, two that are completely cured, and a third that is cure rate. And I'm thinking, as I'm spending the time building the coat, that third one can cure and be available for the repair here. So it's kind of thinking of going through here. And I'm back in a region now where Milton, there's plenty of beds to sleep in. My next goal is a quick skip, and I mean very quick, through uh, Brook, uh, through uh, Forlorn Muskeg. And then I think I'm going to go for uh, Broken Railroad. And there's shelter there as well. So I'm honestly thinking I may just build the bit uh, the bearskin coat right now so it's a little bit of strategy a little bit of timing and I'm thinking while I'm doing this I'm also curing my other bearskin so it's sort of a multitask approach 
uh, to have many things going if possible. And that's going to take 30 hours. That's going to take a day right by itself. Oh gosh, that's, that's closer to a day and a half. Wow. I'm glad I brought that mushroom of food with me. And light's no longer going to be a problem. Okay. Well. <laughs> you see what my day is going to be here. I'm going to be sewing and working. I'm going to do this in probably six hour shifts so I can keep my hydration and calories up. But this is going to be a really boring camera angle. So let me do the serious grind. I'll catch up with you. Day. And as predicted, day 123 with six hours more on the clock. Dang. Because I spent as much time as I could on that thing. And we're just going to go for it. My stats are decent enough. You know, I'm going through my food supply. I'm going to need to probably bug out here pretty quick. But I want to get this sucker done. Come on. Yeah, I think we're just going to... I'm nervous. Calories. Hour. Two hours. I'm getting close on my calories. Anything right <laughs> so now. I'm nervous about... I'm trying, if I can, to not lose my um, uh, well-fed bonus. I mean, I know it's no big deal. I've got the, uh, uh, you know, satchel now, but I'm trying to because you know I've got water, but that's about it. I'm running low on food stuff, so I've got some teas, but I'm trying to think my way through here. I'm thinking I may actually go hunting a little bit. There's a neighborhood uh, of uh, bunnies not too far from me, so I'm thinking I may just. Uh, play a little uh, bunny bingo, see if I get lucky with that, and uh, see if I can get something uh, put on the fire. Give me a second, see what the hunt brings. You know, to heck with that. As I'm talking to you, I'm remembering. Duh, I process a lot of tea, so I've got teas. So let me throw a couple of those back here as well. That'll also uh, give me a couple of calories, as well as give me a bit of a warmth bonus to take care of my next step on. What drives me crazy is that the teas don't show up as food, they always show up as medicinal. And I really wish they would kind of show up on both, because, you know, they are both. They are calories as well as medicinal, so... I get why they're in the medicinal category, but I really wish they'd show up on both, because either one will save your life. And yep, uh, we've gone on up to the uh, burrows here, just uh see if we can get ourselves a little bit of rabbit meat. Come on. Bunny bingo. Come on. Oh, don't do that to me. Okay. You gonna come back down? Oh, I was robbed. I guess I won't complain too much, but that was ridiculously close to him. Where'd you go, little one? I see you. <laughs> you can't hide in the grass. You're still my supper. <laughs> yep. See, there it is. I saw the gr I saw the blood animation. And knew I got him. Perfect. And that's why I always love archery far better than trying to play Stone Age sniper. Plus, even though you're just shooting rabbits, shooting rabbits will increase your archery score. So I absolutely love bunny bingo with the bow. Awesome pastime. It's probably my favorite long dark pastime. Comment down below. What's your favorite long dark pastime? We all have to do something to keep sane in the apocalypse. And as the fire crackles, we continue to process on this bunny. And we're going to go ahead and get him on the fire. Go ahead and take everything else off of him. And... All nice and harvested while we're warm, while supper's cooking. Go ahead and eat that up. That puts some good meat on the calories, exactly what we're looking for. Go ahead and cook up this last bit, too. I'm not supremely worried about it. I mean, I just want to get the workbench project done. Once I get the work pro workbench project done, then I can go all the way back uh, to... Uh, 
grandmother's house where I've got a ton of meat in the trunk. And if memory serves, I've even got a fair bit of meat over at uh, the farmstead. So I've got food to get me off this map without problems. I probably have enough to get me uh, safely all the way to uh, uh, Broken Railroad uh, unless something really strange happens. I just want to get this project done. Four hours. Come on. Let's go for broke. Let's go for broke. Stats are looking good. Light is looking good. And... Yes! Crafted. Oh. That feels so good. Thank you. Tank some water down. Keep that out of the red. Yes. I'd eat anything okay. like about now. I notice we still have some light to work with here. I can't say so I'm upset about that. Let's get this baby on. Alright, just kind of take a look here. New, decent. Okay, and that's what we'll swap out. 59, 59, 60, 15. I'm kind of comparing stats while I do this because I'm just kind of curious, you know. Uh, Alright. 10, 9, excellent, 80%. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put this on. We're going to go ahead and wear the bear skin, because we earned it. Yeah, that makes me feel a lot better. That's a nice piece of achievement there. Sometime maybe I'll try and take out a moose, but I am I was pretty okay with wolf skin. I am impressed I'm that we sure somehow I can carry managed to more. get bear. I, I'm darn impressed with that. Um, I think I'm going to take some stuff here. And with supplies being what they are, I'm really contemplating just... Uh, you know, I'm low on food. I'm at the middle of the day. Yeah, I want to stay here and craft all day, but I'm low on supplies, so... I'm thinking, yeah, and I know what my weight line is here. I'm definitely contemplating just running over to, uh, you know, grandmother's house for the simple concept of, you know, getting there for the food supply and stuff. I'm trying to think, what can I drop? Trim some weight. <sighs> Because this is a bench. This is a bench. I like crafting here. I like working here. But I'm at 100 pounds and I can only carry 88. And I've got no food. So I'm trying to think what is the smart play here. <sighs> I can definitely drop the fuel. I think I've got another uh, kerosene. I've got one of these back at Grey Mother's. That helps a bit. Mm. Uh, welcome to inventory management of the long dark. What do I want to carry? What do I want to leave? You know, I'm not gonna bar I'm not gonna bore you with inventory management. I'm gonna think through this and I'll get back to you when I've got something figured. All right, so I dropped the water. That was about five pounds there, and I keep forgetting how heavy books can be. So I went ahead and dropped off both of the uh, gun books there because I don't really want to be a gun. I like being in the archery guy. It's lighter. Uh, we'll throw some matches off there because I've got matches, plus I have matches at grandmother's house, plus I've got maglens. I've been getting along just fine, so we'll trim that off, and that takes us to about 90 pounds out of 88. I'll drop one whetstone. I still have one more. I kind of want to keep the ammunition for a little bit. And I'm definitely keeping that. You know, I'm not really worried too much. It's only two pounds over max. That's not going to penalize me too badly. And I would much rather actually get moving while I still have some daylight to get back to Grey Mother's as compared to... Yeah, I'll leave that here. I've got cured guts. I've got supplies everywhere. I just need to get back to base. I need to get back to Grey Mother's because that's where my primary meat supply on this map is. I literally have a trunk full of meat waiting for me. 
if I get there, I'm good. And then on the way out of the map, I have another opportunity to do any sort of carving work I want to at the farmhouse. That's the smart play. That's what I should do. So I'm going to game like a thinker, gonna get back to supplies. I'm not going to try and skimp away on a few morsels here. I ever mentioned how I truly hate this crawl through passage because they d made it deliberately with a, a dog trap. I swear, like this. <sighs> okay, yes, be scared. That's just good, 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 good. And I don't want to go all the way around. I will happily take this little shortcut as soon as I can get up on the snow bank. There we are. Come on. Oh, I've seen trails. Where are you, you dang thing? Okay, I got you. I got you. There we are. And stay. I'm just... I am not in a good mood. I am low on calories. I just want to get back to Grey Mothers. I don't care. I'm past the point of caring. I have been chewed up and bit at and attacked by these flea-bitten mongrels for four months. I am tired of this. I'm back in civilization now. I still haven't even seen another person. So I'm a little tired. I'm a little wired. And I'm a little quick to pull the frickin' trigger. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> the solitude is getting to me, man. <laughs> Uh, it's just, yeah, oh, okay, and he's literally running the way I want to go to get back to grandmother's house, it's just, are you, please run away, I don't need your meat, I have plenty of meat, I have plenty of furs, I don't need you, I don't want to kill you. I just want to get back to a bed and sleep in peace and leave me alone. Can we pull this off today? I am so ridiculously paranoid. I'm walking backwards. Oh, you dang thing. Get the heck out of here. I didn't hit him, but I'm scared. I'm just so... On the upside, every bullet I shoot, in theory, takes weight off of me. I'm just running. I am just running. Oh, come on, you dang thing. What is this, the gauntlet? Oh. Come on. I'm still getting blood loss after a shot. And a bearskin coat. What? I thought he was coming. To go. I don't think I lost anything, but the I'm just running. I'm just running. I admit it. I'm slightly scared. I know you. Yeah, that's why. You... Golly! Dang things are after me. Safe haven, safe haven. Bring me to safe haven. There we are. Okay. I'm at least back at base. I can drop gear and drop weight here. I can patch up myself. I'll get a little courage. I'll run over, grab some steaks from the trunk, and we'll be right as rain. Alright, let me kind of think through this for a minute or two, get myself arranged. Dang. I'm going to the store. You want anything? <laughs> I've trimmed some weight, and I just want to do a quick run down in here to pop my trunk, grab some meat for the night. 
Uh, that's literally my only main concern. I'm not even worried about firewood. I think you got a fair bit in, the, in there. If not, there's plenty of furniture. And I just want to pop open. Okay, there. Weight's max. Let's get back in the base. I don't care about my sprain risk. I will sleep it off. Even if I get a sprain, I just don't want to have another attack. I'm just done with this. And... Fortune's favoring the... <laughs> there's a stake right there. Good gosh. Bold. There we are. <sighs> there we are. That makes me feel a hundred times better. I'm safe and sound with all the stake I could want with plenty of gear around here. Okay. As you can tell, I dropped a few hides around. Alright. <laughs> and I've got a radio dial filled with steak. Yep. Go ahead and max that bar up. Wow. Okay, so... I've made it four months, and I've got the well-fed bonus. Yes, this is stalker. I'm not interloper. I know. I don't care. I want tools. Alright. I'm in a good position here. Um, I'm going to take the evening. I'm going to go through. Kind of suss out what I'm going to take at least over to the farmhouse. What potential I'm going to take all the way over to Broken Railroad. And just kind of think a little bit here. I'm in a good position though. So I'm not too upset about that. And for the record, then, once I get to Broken Railroad, the game plan is Broken Railroad, and then we are going to take uh, the railroad probably all the way down to, um, at least back to Mystery Lake. So it'll be Broken Railroad, for Lund Muskeg, back to Mystery Lake, because that's another big supply thing that we built in the early game of this save. And then I'm going to have to decide, you know what, I think I already did decide, we're going to go from Mystery Lake then to... Pleasant Valley. We'll cover Pleasant Valley in entirety. And then we're going to do a quick run to uh, Ash, Ash Canyon, to go for the technical pack because we are all about the tools and stuff here. I want to do a quick wood run. I just want to see if I can push my luck here. My stats are pretty decent, but I don't want to ruin every piece of furniture. Anyway, yeah. Uh, we're going to do a quick run to Ash Canyon, get the tech backpack, because I want the tech backpack when I climb up to uh, the, uh, the Timberwolf Mountain. I want as much storage capacity as possible when I do that climb for Timberwolf, plus I think it makes sense to have that climbing gear when I do the climb to uh, Timberwolf. And I just saw a wolf in the background, so <laughs> I'm going to go back in the shelf. But that's the long-range plan for the next couple of uh, maps. That, that, that's what's in my game plan here. We will see if Fate and Wolves will actually let that pee. So, I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to putter. I'm going to inventory and that kind of stuff. So, I'm going to thank you for watching. If you want to see more... That's what playlists are for. And if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow, leave a like and subscribe. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.